Namaste everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. Again, I'm Stephen from Ananda Yoga and uh, Christine and I and our staff, our teachers, I hope you're enjoying the videos that we've been doing over the last uh, few days. I hope we hope it's helping. And the uh, video I want to do now uh, is a kind of a self-start uh, yoga practice in the mornings. Something I like to do after I do my meditation. I meditate for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes uh, every morning. And then after that I do, uh, I get on the treadmill for about 30 minutes. And then after that I do a yoga practice. Sometimes it's 15 minutes, sometimes it's 30 minutes. Normally it's about 15, 20 minutes. So I thought I'd share that practice with you this morning. All right, so the first thing I do is shoulders relax. I just take a deep inhale. And then exhale, just bring my hands to my heart, hold here and breathe, center myself. And then bring my hands down onto my knees and close my eyes. And just take a moment and listen to my breath. And then listen to your breath. Shoulders relax. And then you open your eyes slowly and come on up to the top of your mat standing. So the first thing I do is a, a, a sun salutation routine. Uh, I do it uh, five, five times in each side. So shoulders back and inhale, you take your hands up, reach up, look towards your hands, exhale, forward fold, head down. Step your right foot back, come down to the knee, look forward, come into plank. Exhale, come down, knees, chest and chin, or straight down, come up into a gentle cobra. And then come back into downward dog. Bring your feet apart. Bring your right foot up between your hands, come down to the left knee. And then bring your left leg up. And then take your hands up over your head, and then hands down to your side. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot back, come down to the knee. Step your right foot back into plank. Exhale, elbows in, lower down. Inhale, upward dog or baby cold. Exhale, downward dog. Bring your left foot up between your hands, come down to the knee. And take your hands up over your head. And bring your hands down to your side, to the floor, and step your back leg forward and take your hands back up over your head and then hands down to your side. Let's do that again. Shoulders relax. Inhale, take your hands up. Exhale, forward fold, head down. Step your right foot back and then step your left foot back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take your right foot in the air. Bring your right foot up between your hands. Come down to your left knee and then bring your back leg forward and then take your hands up and then bring your hands down to your side. Do that again, inhale on the left side, exhale, forward fold, come down and take your left foot back, take your right foot back, lower down, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog, take your left foot in the air, bring your left foot up between your hands, come down to the right knee, look forward, keep your back nice and straight here. And then step your back leg forward and then take your hands up over your head and the hands down to your side. That's two rounds. We're going to do three more. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold, head down. Step your right foot back and then your left foot. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take your right foot up. Bring your right foot up between your hands, the left knee down. And then step your back leg forward and then bring your hands back up over your head and then hands down to your side. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold, head down. Step your left foot back and then your right foot. Exhale, lower down, keep your elbows in. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take your left foot in the air and then bring your left foot up between your hands, come down to the knee, look forward. Step your back leg forward and then bring your hands up and hands down to your side. Two more times. Inhale, hands up, pause. 
Touch in, exhale, forward fold, head down. Step your right foot back, then your left foot. Come down, exhale, plank, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take your right foot in the air. And bring your right foot up between your hands. Bring your back leg forward and take your hands back up. Your hands down to your side. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold, head down. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Exhale, down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take your left foot in the air and then bring your left foot up between your hands. Right knee down, look forward and then step your back leg forward. And then take your hands up and then hands down to your side. One more time on each side, shoulders relax. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold, head down. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Exhale, down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take your right foot in the air and bring your right foot up between your hands, so left knee down and bring your back leg forward. Take your hands up over your head and then hands down to your side. One more time, on the left. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot back. Come down to the knee. Step your right foot back. Exhale, down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Hold. Take your left foot in the air and bring your left foot up between your hands, come down to the knee, hold here, and then bring your back leg forward and take your hands up over your head and then hands down to your side. All right, so that's the sun salutation routine. Just kind of bring your hands to your heart and then shoulders relax and then find your breath. Deep inhale and exhale. Now extend your arms out in front of you and come up off your heels into awkward pose. Your heels lifted and then come down slowly, slowly, slowly as you make your way down. Keep your heels lifted. Hold. Two and one and come down and then come off your knees and come into hero. Alright. So I do the sun salutations and I come down. Uh, sitting in here for a moment. Now, normally what I do is I do a round of uh, uh, push-ups. And normally I do about 40, uh, but for this practice, quick practice, uh, five is fine. So you come into plank, and you come down, do it five times, come into plank, exhale, lower down, up, and again, lower down. Start with five, up, and then lower down, then come up. It's three, and two more times, lower down, up, and then one more time, come back up, hold, hold, five, four, three, two, and one, come back up, into downward dog. Take a moment here, find your breath. So I, I did five um, push-ups, and I've worked up to, uh, I do 40 now. And then come down to your knees. And then come down onto your backs. So I come down onto my back. And just take a moment here, shoulders relaxed. Just kind of re take my knees back and forth a little bit, just releasing any tension, stress in my hips and my thighs. So I was just working on upper body strength there with sun salutations and a little bit of uh, cardio. Now I'm just kind of moving down into a little bit of core strengthening. So in this core strengthening, so you sort of like a modified bridge pose, knees are bent, shoulders relaxed here. And now you're going to cross your uh, right leg over your left and lift your legs. Now here you have the option just to keep the right leg over the left or you can curl the right leg under in, uh, in eagle, eagle legs. Take your hands behind your head. Now important here, we're going to lift our head towards our leg. But we're going to do it uh, using our core, not our arms. So we're not going to push up. So what we do is just gently, effortlessly engage our core. So you come up and we'll do it five times. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Again, using your core, I'm not pressing on my neck, I'm not straining on my neck or my arms. And you hold for five, four, three, two, and one. And then lower your head. And then release your legs and hands down. So just working on the core a little bit after working on upper body strength. Shoulders relax. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So you take your left leg over your right and lift your legs. And again, if you can, you can stay right here, it's fine. Or if you can curl your left foot around your right, do that. And take your hand behind your head. Inhale, exhale, head to the knee. One. And again, two. Three, four, and five. Hold for one, two, three, four, and five. And release, and then drop your legs. So a morning practice should be invigorating. We're trying to enliven our body. Evening, a little more relaxed class, maybe a little more kind of like Christine's warm stretch class in the, in, in the later in the evening when you're starting to wind down. But in the morning, you want to get active and you want to uh, feel good. So I find that uh, a good vigorous uh, workout in the morning is good. It doesn't have to be overly vigorous. So shoulders relax. Um, what I'm going to do now is just gently start to work on my, uh, uh, my sit bones, my glute muscles, so, and my hips. So you're going to just draw your knees and your chest. Give yourself a hug. Hold here, just kind of moving from side to side, gently and easily. Now reach, we're going to do happy baby pose. So reach for the sides of your feet and take the soles of your feet facing up with your knees bent. The shoulders relaxed. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed here. Feet, uh, sole of your feet facing up. Hold here and breathe. Deep inhale and exhale. Start to kind of press the knees down a little bit. Not over. Try to keep your chin tucked in. You don't want your head scrunched, your neck scrunched. You want to keep your, your neck nice and long and hold here and breathe and focus. Stay with it. Maybe move from side to side gently, easily. Through your lower back here and your kidneys, kind of massaging your kidneys, getting that blood flowing into your lower back, into your kidney area. Now, take the uh, soles of your feet, or play the ball of your feet, or and then straighten your legs. Mm, it feels really good. It feels really good in the hamstring, inner thighs here, heels away if you can. Now you might want to just take your toes and just open up, hold here, and breathe and focus. So we do this lying down, we do it sitting as well, and we do it standing. So either either one works. Hold here and breathe. It feels really good in the inner thighs. Feels really good on the back of the legs here. And hold and breathe. And now bring your legs together. And hold here and focus. Nice. Stay with it. And now bend your knees. Bring the soles of your feet together into a lying down, a butterfly. Hold here. Bring the heels in close to your body. Hold, hold. Again, kind of just kind of tuck your chin in a bit, hold, and then release, and then release your legs to the floor. Now what I like to do here is I'm going to come up into sit seating, but I like to kind of roll up. So we're going to roll back and forth, hands under the knee, and you're going to roll one, two, three, and come up into seated. And then from here, we're going to move into a uh, seated forward bend series. Shoulders relax, looking forward. Let's start by bringing shoulders back, bringing your right foot into your left thigh. Take a deep inhale and exhale. I'm going to reach your hands towards your left foot and then head down. And just hold here and breathe. And you can stay here at your morning practice, it's your time in the morning. So stay here for as long as you like with any of the poses. You don't have to stay for five breaths or a five count. You can just stay as long as it feels comfortable and as long as you feel you need to be in the pose. The important thing is when you move into a pose is to feel comfortable and relaxed. 
So yoga is not about getting into a perfect position. It's about uh, relaxing in the position. So yoga is mastered when all effort is relaxed. So that's when we know we're mastering yoga. Is when we can move totally relax in any position we get in. And you can come up and release. You do the same thing on the other side. So bring your left foot in, right leg extended, shoulders relaxed. Again, inhale, take your hands up and reach, and then reach your hands forward, and then head down. And again, take a deep inhale and exhale. You don't have to push and pull, you don't have to go as far, you don't have to bring your head to your knee. That's not what yoga is about. It's just about feeling comfortable in the pose. And when you relax, you just allow gravity to take over and that effort, uh, the effort of gravity will actually take you deeper into the pose. And you just kind of breathe into the pose. Deep inhale, exhale. Stay with it. And come up. Take your arms up and reach. And release. Extend your legs. Now we're going to do what we did lying down, but this time from seated. We're going to do a seated open V. So a seated open V, you take your feet apart, shoulders relaxed, look forward. You take your arms out and take a deep inhale, arms up to the side, and then exhale, reach forward, reach for your feet, inhale, and then exhale, head down, hold here and breathe. Now you can keep your hands on your feet if you'd like, or you can just take your hands in front of you extending your arms out and head down. Stay with it and breathe. Hold. And then come back up again. Nice and easy. Relaxed. Shoulders relaxed. And again, we did this lying down. And now we do a seated. You can take your hands around your feet or your two big toes and lean back just a little bit and extend your legs, shoulders relaxed, hold here. You want to look up a bit, five, four, three, two, and one, and then bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together and then head down into a gentle butterfly. And hold and breathe. Come up and release, and let's come back to the top of our mat. Shoulders relaxed here. Now, uh, spread your fingers, palms of your hands pressing into your mat, curl your toes under, and lift up into downward dog, kind of pressing your heels back and forth. So, I'm going to move into a pigeon series and bring your feet together, take your right foot in the air. And just draw your knee down towards your right wrist and extend your left leg. Hands on each side of your knee, shoulders relaxed here. Take a deep inhale and exhale. We're just going to stay up. We're not going to come down into a, a lying down pigeon. We're going to keep our shoulders back. We're going to keep our, our upper torso lifted. Upper torso lifted. And just a little bit of a curve in your back here. Kind of walk your hands back here. Hold and breathe and focus. So you should feel a nice stretch here in your right glute and your left hip flexor and thigh. And you might notice that I'm not playing music. And the reason is, is that you might have something that you want to listen to on your own. So you might have a favorite playlist that you like to uh, have on while we're doing this, this practice this morning. Now, from here, just kind of lean over onto your right side and just bring your left leg up and over your right. So into a seated, a seated twist. So I think the important thing to remember in a seated twist is to try to get that uh, sole of your foot uh, uh, flush to the floor, right? So you want it flush to the floor. And you want to make sure that it's, it's there, shoulders relaxed, and try not to kind of bend the foot up. Kind of keep the foot flat to the floor. 
Take your right hand to the knee, left hand behind you. Keep your back nice and straight. Arm around your knee, look to your left shoulder here, and hold. And then come back to center. Now, we're going to move from here into square pose. So you take your bottom leg out and bring your heel uh, even with your knee. And then take your top leg over. And then from here, so your top leg now is in a square pose, square position. And you come forward and bring your hands in front and head down. And again, in this pose, you just kind of want to stay here for a few moments here. It's really good for uh, sciatic, any kind of sciatic issues you have. And it's good for uh, opening up the hips, hip flexors. So just stay here just for a moment and breathe into it, focus. And then come up and release. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So come back up onto your hands and knees, curl your toes under, lift back up into downward dog. This time take your left foot up, nice. And bring your knee down towards your left wrist. Extend all the way, bring that hip forward, shoulders relax. And again, walk your hands back just a bit here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just breathe into it. You might even want to look back and see if you can see your foot. Because if you can't see your foot, if it's too close to the center, and then you can see that I'm a little bit off, right? So you want to make just sure that your hips are as square as you can get them. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but kind of opening your hips a bit. And you should be able to look back and see your foot. Hold here and breathe. Stay with it. Nice. You might want to walk your hands back towards you and hold. And then from here, just take your uh, left sit bone down to the floor, swinging your right leg up and over. And again, keep keeping that right foot flush to the floor, shoulders back, and bring that right sit bone back as well. Back nice and straight. I always talk about making sure alignment is good. So, you know, the shoulders are back. It helps with breathing. It's really good for breathing. It helps with the energy, keeping your energy flowing keeping your breath uh, neutral and breathing properly. And taking your right hand behind you, left arm around the knee, and look towards your uh, right shoulder. And hold here, and breathe into it, and focus. And then you're gonna release, and then take your uh, right foot, cross it over. Again, square pose again, left, left foot out just a bit, right foot, and then from here, you're going to come forward again, feeling that nice stretch through the lower back and then through your glute muscles and your thighs. Hold here, breathe and focus. And then release that. And come on to your hands and knees. Curl your toes under, lift up into uh, downward dog. And kind of press your heels away just a little bit. And come down to your knees. And we're just going to do a finishing pose. So, a finishing pose is a uh, shoulder stand. And in shoulder stand, I would recommend that you use a blanket so that when you come down, your shoulders are even with the edge of the blanket so that uh, you protect your, the back of your neck, cervical vertebrae when you come up. So it's, uh, it's a finishing pose I like to do. You come down, and again, you're making sure that your shoulders are even on the edge of the blanket. And you're gonna bend your knees and come up. Now this may be as far as you want to go. This may be as far as you want to go. Taking your hold of your leg or you can come back. You can come
come back, lift up, bring your elbows under your back, shoulders relax, take your arms up and hold here in shoulder stand. Can you breathe? And bring your, so you go over your head, hands down, and slowly come down, slowly come down. Straighten your legs. Open your hands, palms open. And you move into Shavasana. And then I would stay in Shavasana for about three to five minutes. Move your fingers and move your toes. Take your hands up over your head. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your right side, and then your left side. Move over onto your right side. And slowly come up into seated back at the top of your mat. Shoulders relaxed. So that's my uh, morning routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Bring your hands to your heart. Bring your fingers to your forehead, bow to your true nature. And bow to one another. Namaste.